The plastic disposable water bottle. Great way to have water right here at your fingertips and yet it can be used in a number of different survival situations. So we're going to take a look at the different ways that you can use the water bottle for survival. We're continuing our series on taking everyday items, things that are just around the house. Being able to improvise common items for different purposes is a great way to be prepared in a survival situation. Of course, these can be used as their intended purpose, to transport water. And you can have these in your pack just like you can a regular canteen. Great way to have portable water. Or you can take that water bottle and just fill it up. Now just return the lid and you've refilled your bottle of water. Now of course pouring the water out it comes out pretty quick. Uh, if you want to control the water take put a hole in your cap. You can actually put multiple holes if you want. Put the cap back on and it'll just drip out a little bit at a time. This is really great for pets. If you have a dog you can kind of give it a little bit of water this way and still retain and not waste a lot of water. The leftover bottom of a two liter bottle can be used as a bowl. I mean, as a natural bowl. One thing though is you have a lot of little uh, cuts and places here that are sharp. Take a lighter and you can actually just melt the edges. Really rounds that edge off, makes it much softer. We're gonna make a spoon. So we're gonna cut the cap off. And just cut a circular design even on either side as much as you can. And then we're gonna make a little handle. And here we have a small little spoon. Now it's pretty flimsy right now. So we're gonna take our lighter and we're gonna go along the edges. And what that'll do too is it'll soften the edges rounding off the tip. With those edges rounded off it makes it actually much more firm. Uh, still you could actually melt part of it and get a little heat on the entire thing to give it a little more rigidity as long as you don't melt the spoon itself. But just heating it actually changes the property of the plastic. And here we've got us a spoon. And this does make a handy little bowl with my spoon. Now enjoy my Fruit Loops. Now we're going to make a small cup. Uh, what you can do is take, cut the bottle, but you want to leave about an inch section right here and take the top, go ahead and cut it. You want to make sure you get it to where it's part of the thickest and then cut a rim around the top. Side off. Now it should look something like this with the top and then the bottom and then a strip coming through and then just twist it back over itself. Fit it over the bottom and you have a small little handle and you have a cup. Bring your lighter back out. Soften those edges. Now we have a cup. But the handle works really well if you have a hot cup of coffee. Oh yeah. This is required in a survival situation. Hot coffee. <laughs> now a water bottle is made to keep water in, but if it's dry, it can keep water out. Uh, whether you want to do a small little med kit, of course you'll have to have things that can actually go through the little hole or you have some matches 
You just want to keep them waterproof. Take your lid, tighten it down. You have a little waterproof survival kit. To get in this, obviously you're going to have to cut it. It's a one-time deal, but this will definitely work until you need it. Take a water bottle, cut the top off. Only about a quarter of the way. Most of these bottles you'll need to dry out, of course. They get water and other things according to what it is, and you want to wash your bottles out. Take your lid, remove it, place the top inverted into the bottle. Now we're just going to take some duct tape. Tape it around to keep the two together. You want to punch a couple of holes through the sides opposite of each other. Run a little paracord through and tie a knot. Do the same for the other side. Now you have a little handle and you have a small little berry picker. Drop your berries down in here and you can they'll drop right into the bottom and then if it falls over you're not going to lose your berries. This is great for blackberry picking. <laughs> One great thing about the bottle coming to an end is you can take your knife go ahead and pierce it. You can cut it all the way with the knife or you can take a pair of scissors whatever you have available. Now we have a funnel. Putting oil in your vehicle Nothing worse than trying to hit it with this. Instead, take your bottle funnel. Much nicer. Of course, you could just cut the top of this off and use this. And of course, with oil in here, you want to be careful what you put in here. Now, you can make a scoop out of a plastic bottle. Uh, I'm not necessarily recommending using an oil can like this, but it definitely works good and it can be used in a pinch. Scoop up whatever you need and uh, it, this is a pretty decent thickness. Uh, with some of the small water bottles you're going to have a little more trouble but uh, this works. This is Paracord's natural form when just left alone. Take your bottle, cut the bottom off, take the cat with a screwdriver, put a hole through it large enough for the Paracord to go through. Take one end of your Paracord and run it through the bottle and then just stick the rest of your paracord in the bottle. Run the end of your paracord through your little cap and screw it on. Now you can just pull your paracord through. Makes it really easy to use. Now we're going to make a seed starter. Just go ahead and cut off the top then take and cut the bottom. Now you want to cut it fairly deep. I'll show you why in a second. Remove the lid, place one on top of the other like this. Next you want to take and put a hole through the top of the cap. Big enough to put some string or cordage, something that will absorb water. Tie this end off to a knot and pull through. Reattach to your lid. Next you want to take some soil that you can use for your potting soil. Pour water in the bottom of the lower part. Take our string, put it down. Take your small plant. Or you can even put a seed in here to get it started. This way it'll self water the plant and uh, it'll give you a great little starter seed or a little seedling. Now taking a bottle cap little tea light candle. A lighter actually will work just as well but the candle gives you a little more control. We're gonna make a little nozzle and what you want to do is to get it just softened. So put it over the flame not too close. Take your time. Once you see it softening up you can take a wooden skewer or this little screwdriver it's a uh, Phillips head. We're gonna start to push through. 
hold it into place and let it cool. This isn't the prettiest thing and with practice you can make them really long and really nice. Once this cools, dipping it in water really helps. Take the end, snip it with a pair of scissors. You have a nice little hole. Take your cap, return it to the bottle. Now you have a small little nozzle and you can just pour. Uh, of course you can get them a lot longer. You can even squeeze the bottle to be able to get things out and uh, just for different options. Now you can make a small fish trap, especially somewhere like a little small creek or something like that. Uh, take your top and cut it off about a third of the way. And we're going to put some rocks in the bottom first to give it a little bit of weight. Then we take our top, put it in. Take your duct tape. Uh, this, of course, is not going to last too, too long, but this is really just for enough time to catch what you need to catch. Uh, this is going to allow the fish to swim in, but they can't swim out. Or crawdads or whatever, crayfish. Uh, and so you could actually put a little uh, hole here and tie a paracord string to be able to retrieve this out of the creek, especially if you're going into deeper water. Uh, small fish obviously are going to be hard to really um, to eat, <laughs> uh, which you can do, but the big thing is it'll allow you to have bait. Now you want to put some kind of bait in here, maybe a piece of bread or a small worm, and that'll attract the fish. Taking this two liter bottle and just making small strips, you can use either a pair of scissors or a good sharp knife. This is going to be a great way to have cordage. It's super strong and you can really do a lot with it. Uh, but there is an easier way to actually cut this and make it more consistent. And here we have a special jig to make this very quick and very even. And I'll have a video, I'll have it linked right here to how to make this little jig. Very simple. And you guys are wondering, is he going to take a drink of that water or is he just going to keep running his mouth? <laughs> I think I'll do both. So using plastic bottles for survival situations, thumbs way up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. But yet can be used for a lot of different things for a self-defense search great way to have water right at your fingertips. Okay, video's over. I'm going to finish my Fruit Loops. No, you can't have any. <laughs>